So first off, we're going to start with our B2B startup competition finalists. We will listen to a round of five pitches, and the game plan is quite simple. You have three minutes to pitch and impress our panel of investors who are over here. The clock in front of me is going to mark the time. And if you go over, I'm going to make this motion, which essentially means, guys, it's time to wrap up. And afterwards, our panel of investors, you have one minute. Try to keep the, the questions short and to the point uh, to ask our presenters their questions. So to get started, the first team that's going to be presenting is Apentra Solutions to tell us about supercomputing, a key cornerstone of the data-driven economy. Please join us on stage. Apentra Solutions. Just a few minutes while we get set up. Great, there we go. Thank you very much. Welcome. So good morning. Thank you very much for being here this morning. My name is Manuel Arenaz. I am the CEO and co-founder of Apenta Solutions. Today we will be talking about supercomputing or high-performance computing. High-performance computing is the formula one of, of uh, computer science as it, it speeds up the rate at which science and industry can interpret the massive amount of data that are produced in our daily lives in modern society. Some data. In the US in 2014, Eight climate events cost it uh, more than 1,000 million of dollars each of these events. And these costs may be reduced with better and faster and more precise climate models. So this is only one example, and HPC is playing a key role in an increasing number of industries. And this is how a supercomputer looks like behind the scenes. Hundreds or millions of processors interconnected working as a single machine. So, uh, supercomputing has a very high potential that is being hindered by software issues. In particular, there, are, there is very few people in the world that can tell these supercomputers what to do to solve a real, uh, single real problem. So this is known as parallel programming. This is one of the hardest disciplines that a computing scientist can, can tackle. And this, is all, this almost remains as a manual process nowadays. So our value proposal are new software tools based on a new disruptive technology to automate these manual processes, avoid human errors, and reduce development uh, cost and efforts in, in the industry and in science. And this is our team. We are two PhDs, experts in hardware, HPC hardware and software, two experts in developers for the power, our power, exclusive power technology, one business management with more than 10 years of experience in business, and one marketing assistant. And this is our target market, HPC software. This is a strong market, it is, it is a strong, it is growing, and it, it is the biggest market segment behind investments in hardware for HPC. So our competitors are software tools that are based on a technology that go back to the seven, that date back to the 70s, and our power technology overcomes the main limitations that were demonstrated uh, in, this, uh, in this classic technology and that cannot handle the complexity of real-world, world-class applications. Our business model is B2B, complex sales, based on so selling software subscriptions. And our commercialization strategy is based on attending world-class events in the US and, the, and Europe. And, and nowadays, we are already working with the Orange National Laboratory, number one in the Department of Energy of the US, Barcelona Supercomputing Center, both of them early adopters and prescribers in these markets. We are already partners of NVIDIA and making the strong steps to be partners of, also of IBM. And I would like to finish with the best industry recognition in the HPC market, that is this emerging technologies for this year in November. We have been selected for that. This was notified to us last week. And we are very proud of it because we, will, we are one of the technologies that can change the, the, the HPC world within, within the next five to 10 years. So thank you very much. If you are interested, please contact me. How long, how long takes you uh, the commercialization of your product in the B2B area? It's a long, it's a long cycle. It, it usually, for instance, with uh, Orange National Laboratory, we started contacts one year, one year and a half ago. And now they are, we have the fruits of that work, and we are beginning to collaborate and work to, uh, strong to, uh, with them. Uh, OK, thank you. Sorry? 
Thank you. Oh, okay, thank you. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Apentra Solutions, the Formula One of computer science. Next up, Atlantia Search with on demand online market research. Come on uh, up. Well, my name is Juan José Moran, the CEO of Atlantia Search. Uh, oops. Let me tell you a scary story that happens every day. This is Martin and Martha. Martin is a, a, an entrepreneur that is running a barber shop and needs to know where to locate their business. And Martha is struggling to know, uh, to get market uh, share in the e-commerce that she's running uh, by answering who is uh, his, uh, her target. So for answer these critical questions, they are using an ancient market research technique calling the finger in the wind. The finger in the wind, <laughs> uh, just uh, when they run out of business, uh, they just ask themselves what the fuck happened. And among the top five reasons for getting out of business or for failing, two of them are strongly related with not having the proper information. And it happens to everyone. It happens to small, medium, and big companies because market research today is too slow and too expensive. Market is composed by basically big companies, do-it-yourself solutions, and specialized tools that are too expensive, too complex, and just do one thing. The market is huge, 40.3 billion uh, uh, globally, and there is a 16 uh, billion market for SMEs with no global player so far. We, in Atlantia Search, we make market research so easy that a kid can request it, so affordable that any company can pay for it, and it has such quality that even the most demanding client will be satisfied. And we do it through combining an awesome user experience with uh, our own methodologies, combining technology with an international pool of experts and uh, a crowdsourcing uh, a pool of uh, uh, collaborators. And we have an ecosystem of third-party methodologies that uh, make wider our uh, system. The process is so simple that you just need to select the business questions that you need to answer, customize your uh, uh, offer, and download your report. We are at least three times fa faster than any option in the market, 70% cheaper, and uh, we have a wider portfolio of services that grow every single day. Our clients range for uh, big companies to startups, and the most awesome of uh, everything, our competitors are also buying us. Uh, the 58% of our customers, the first time that consume market research in their lives is with us. 74% of them repeat, and we have a satisfaction rate of 94%. We have clients all over uh, uh, seven uh, countries. We grow as hell. We have a, an interesting margin, and we have a plan for becoming the largest business information supplier in the world by 2020. We have challenges also. Uh, we need to speed up our software development our international expansion, and we have to scale uh, our digital acquisitions. That's where we are looking for $1.2 million uh, on investment uh, and for a data lover partner uh, that want to become a data lover as the 20 people that are in our team. We are Atlantia Search. Thank you very much. Any questions? Questions from our investors? No. I don't explain myself so good ever. <laughs> Hi, I'm not sure I understood you correctly, but did you say that your competitors are buying a product as well? Yep. Uh, companies like Ipsos, Millward Brown, Nielsen are buying because it's cheaper to do it with uh, us than doing it themselves. So we are getting there in the market. For the larger accounts you mentioned, who is your customer within those large companies? Uh, sorry? For those large customers that you mentioned, who is the customer? Usually the uh, m uh, marketing uh, department, the market research department, the planning department, or the sales department. There is another question there. OK, 
Okay, you are thinking in the large account and also in the SMA, uh, so it's a different, very, very different market approach. So what is the way you manage that? Yeah, we have uh, an internal uh, B2B uh, sales team and some external resellers. And also we have for, for B2B companies, uh, for big companies, sorry, and for SMEs, we are uh, uh, through a market, digital marketing acquisition process uh, that we start five months ago uh, and it's already the 30% uh, of our revenue stream. Uh, one, how do your clients uh, increase the return on investment with your with your report? They can. Uh, it depends on the type of report that we do. But uh, in a strategic planning, for instance, uh, they use uh, Scotia Bank. For instance, they use globally our report for taking decision on how they will be approaching the Mexican market. We are a Mexican company, by the way. Uh, well, excuse me. Uh, have you demonstrated the the return of investment with the report? Uh, we, we don't need to. It's a, a market that is already there, so it's easy to them to see the value on, on it. And they are rebuying this. We sign up a contract for, with Scotia Bank for uh, two years, uh, renewing the contract. We renewed with uh, also KPMG globally. Cool. Thank you very much. Exactly, what kind of data do you provide to the companies? What? Like, how do you actually uh, help the, the companies? What kind of data do you provide? It, it, depends, uh, it depends on the need. We answer business questions. So they bring us their business questions that range for who is my customer profiling, uh, what is my, the brand awareness of my brand, to what is the market sizing of this specific niche. Or we, we have several methodologies for answering several business questions. Uh, Okay. Okay. Thank you, Atlantia Thank Search, you. for making market research easy, affordable, and quality. In the spirit of time, we're going to ask our panel of investors, if you don't mind limiting the questions to three, just so we can keep uh, the session moving uh, forward. Uh, next up is Worktel, working spaces in hotels by the hour. The stage is yours. Hi, my name is Manuel, and I am one of the co-founders at Worktel. Did you know that there are about 100 million professionals that are either freelancers or work from home? In 10 years' time, this number will have triplicated. These workers are looking for flexible, cost-effective, and professional places to work wherever they go. Hi, I'm Carlos. I'm Worktel, CEO and co-founder. This opportunity Manuel has shown you it's a global trend, an opportunity to help millions of professionals all over the world, but also an entire industry, the hotel industry and their empty spaces, spaces that are not included in any inventory and generate no revenues. To solve these two problems, we have developed Worktel, the first online platform that allows you to book thousands of workspaces exclusively in hotels through any connected device. With Worktel, anyone can book a place to work or meet instantly and at a fraction of the cost of a regular office. Right now, after 120 days since we launched, all of you can join our community of more than 20,000 professionals who have already downloaded our app and work in more than 100 hotels across 19 cities in three different countries. And this is just the beginning. Over the next two years, we'll take Worktel to one million users who will be able to work in more than 1,000 hotels across 60 cities in 12 different countries. And we will succeed. First, thanks to the hotel chains we are currently working with, Top brands representing more than 7,000 hotels in more than 100 countries. But also, thanks to our team, the best team, experience in management as well as in founding and investing in several startups, with years of experience in the hotel industry and also talented and passionate people in other areas like marketing or IT. We are looking for Partners and investors willing to join Worktel and help us grow our business and expand it globally. 
So now that you're here in Madrid, away from your office, please feel free to visit our web or download our app and use one of our um, offices in more than 30 hotels all around Madrid. Thank you. Thank you. Recuperando tiempo. Questions from our panel? Any questions? From the, from the panel of investors, we're going to hold the questions for the audience for later. Uh, which is your margin? Uh, when, your margin when you book a, an hotel, uh, when you book a, a place in a hotel, which is the margin for yeah, what we, hotel? We charge 12% commission to the hotel. And it's important also to say that our customers have a very good level of customer satisfaction. Zero complaints so far, although we have hundreds of hours book, and a repeat rate of 40 percent. Any more questions before we move on? All right. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Worktel. Next up is Blue Live with targeted and actionable threat intelligence. If you can come on up. Thank you very much. Good morning, everybody. My name is Gerard Cervello. I am the CEO of, of Blue Leaf. We are a cybersecurity company, as was mentioned. And what we do is that we score the deep web, dark web, internet underground to find threats that can affect our customers. So in other words, we are the eyesight of the companies out there, and we help them to fight the cyber crime. So why did, you, did we found uh, Blue Leaf? Because some time ago, we realized that the, the bad guys, sorry to tell you that, but the bad guys are winning the war. They are very good at stealing credentials, confidential information, financial information. And the existing technologies were not enough to, to, to cover, to, to track these, these kind of uh, emerging cyber threats. So we thought that we had to take a different approach. And this is why we created Blue Leaf with the threat intelligence. So what we do is we have created a technology that in a very automated way goes to the places where these guys move the stolen information, plan their attacks, so we can recover data that has been stolen and also detect uh, potential attacks to our customers. And we, all this information that we recover a lot, we process it in a very automated way with our big data engines, machine learning technology. So we provide very targeted, fresh, and directed information to our customers. So they don't need to dig into a lot of information. They just get what they need to know, and they can react to this threat. When you think about threats, you can consider what is that. So there are many kind of threats. We, we classify them in nine families. But for instance, stolen credentials, stolen credit cards, hacktivist attacks, rogue mobile applications, and there are many more. With this technology, we have already had a very good traction in the market. We have more than 60 customers worldwide in several countries at enterprise level, which reflects in a very wealthy um, revenue. We have $2.5 million uh, in revenue for this year, which represents a 100% year-over-year growth. And besides the revenue, which is important, we also have recognition based on our technology and on our team. For instance, we got the cool, uh, the cool Vendor Award by Garner last year. All our technical team is well known in the market because of the different publications about cyber crimes, threats, uh, malware, etc. that we publish. These are some of our customers. We work in, as I mentioned, with large companies uh, in different verticals. What we have is a software as a service subscription model where our customers subscribe to different modules that we offer in our platform. And then it's totally frictionless for them. They don't need to install anything, to integrate anything. We just activate the account, and they, in a few minutes, start to get threats that are relevant for them, and they can react. We have a strong team with a lot of people coming from the ethical hacking world which help us a lot in this fight against cyber crime. We have offices in Barcelona, London, and San Francisco. We are about 60 people. And we have Kibo and Telefonica Ventures as investors. And why we are here? Because we, we are a very good company. We, are, we have very promising technology, but we want to grow faster. So we, want, we are looking for a Series A investment so we can increase this reach uh, internationally. And remember that we have the technology, the drive, the vision, and the energy to do it. So thank you for your time. We are Blue Leap. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> we, are, uh, we are the side of the companies there, uh, outside there, and, and we fight cybercrime, which is very important. Thank you very much.
questions from our panel of investors? Wait. Any questions? How are you focusing your Series A? How, do, how much do you want to raise in the Series A? Uh, a few million. <laughs> I cannot disclose this publicly, but we can talk later on, on this. Okay, thank you. Okay, your figures are, are incredible, but uh, how many years are you working on that? The company was founded in 2009, but as a, ser as a services company, for ethical hackers who doing penetration testing, compliance, etc. And two years ago, the company switched to a product, to a product company. So we have been doing the product market phase in the last two years. If you if you wanted to select a, a kind of company, a kind of customer that you prefer, what is the utilities, is bank, uh, what is the company uh, from your side that is, uh, is thinking in more time, is spending the, is spending the time in, in the security market? Uh, what is the main customer for you in the future? All of them are interesting for us. We love all of the, all of the customers. Uh, <laughs> uh, probably where we are stronger is in the financial and insurance, insurance sector, because we have different kind of threats that are very targeted to them and we come, more experience comes from this area also and we are very good in that area. It's where we have more traction in the US and in Europe. Okay, thank you. Great, thank you, Blue Lip. Last but not least, Blender Solutions, a way to manage the unknown. Please come on up. Hi, uh, I'm Danny. Blender's co-founder, the knowledge transfer system. Uh, Descartes say, a good gift all that I know for the half that I don't know. Yes, she was asking for so much because the unknown is infinite. And this is one of the obvious things that I discovered after some years in consultancy. The other two were, first, that there is a new problem uh, in the companies and in the middle of the knowledge era, it's a little bit strange that knowledge is still being uncountable, immeasurable, and intangible. And it doesn't appear on balance sheet or in accounts. And the other one is that there is a new professional role born. In. We call it CKO, or knowledge managers. They work simple, measure, manage, and motivate the people of the teams to spread and share their knowledge. So. At this moment, these people are using tools like Google, MailChimp, Slack, or virtual universities. But they don't have a real tool specifically designed to do their job. So our solution has two phases. One system for the companies, where they could create and manage knowledge campaigns in order to discover talent, measure, and predict the transfer of knowledge inside of the team. In order, an app for the workers, where they could ask and answer about everything that they need in the corp. So, like you can imagine, the opportunity and the market is huge. Think about it. Insight, culture, knowledge transfer, standardization of the knowledge, welcoming um, to the new workers. But don't think only inside of the companies. Think about outside. Could you imagine Nike? answering questions directly to Decathlon workers? We do. We are a really young company. We only have one year old. But in this time, we're really proud of three things. The first, find our angel, Bea. Second, join our great team. And the third, the most important for us, our clients. It's really important because they are our best consultants. And together, we are building the future of knowledge transfer together. So we came here because we want to build the future. We want to build a 100% software as a service platform where every client could create by their own, their own corporate brain. And like you can imagine, create a corporate brain is not an easy trip. So do you want to know? Thank you very much. Take questions from the panel of judges. Uh, 
Can you share an example from one of your customers on how they use the product and how are, yeah. you, are they successful with the product? Yeah, for sure. Uh, for example, Intersport, using in one team, uh, in one shop, 22 workers, in one week they create 950 questions. Because the problem is the knowledge is not top to down, it's down to top. Um, when the human resources manager thinks, I have a really heavy problem, we say, hey, no, we have a really great business here. Because when we measure the answer to the questions, 500 questions was, were about Nike products. So when you call Nike and you say, hey, I have 16,000 of customers that have many questions about your product, do you want to solve them? And um, yeah, <laughs> they would. Any more questions? Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you.